Hey guys, Ralph here. Welcome to True Power Meditation. Here on this sensational Sunday here in Connecticut. Oh. Guys, it's not even 4 o'clock yet. And I've been up for a couple hours meditating. It was a wonderful, wonderful meditation. You saw this at the thumbnail. Morning bliss. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. Look, guys, I don't mind. I don't mind if you buy the book or not. <laughs> I'm not going to buy a new beach house, you know, on $10 a book. I'm not. But here's the deal. Guys, I just want you to meditate. I just want you to meditate. My God. What a wonderful, wonderful world this would be if the entire world were to meditate and to feel the way that I feel right now, just connected with the universe. I don't want for anything. I don't want money. I don't want food. I just am so content, happy, and blissful here this morning. I wish I could take this with me for the rest of the day. And therein lies the problem. The true yogis, the true gods, you know, Paramahansa Yoganans and whatnot, they were like this all the time. They are like this all the time. And I can't imagine what that feels like just all the time. Me, I'm good for an hour or so. Then I get up and see what's going on in the world. <laughs> I get mad, I get depressed, I get frustrated. And before you know it, I've lost it. But that is my challenge in life. To bring what I'm feeling right now, my morning bliss, with me all day. I guess instead of trying to extend this, I should probably try to make time to meditate throughout the day. Usually I do it in the morning and night, and that is what I suggest in my book. For $10, ebook, you'll have it today. Just contact me at um, that video, uh, that video. Just contact me at that uh, email at the end of every single one of my videos, and you'll have the book today. Guys, you don't need the book to meditate. Everything I know about meditation I'm not going to say everything. I know a lot of the stuff I formulated myself. But the basis for everything that I know came from Paramahansa Yogananda. I read uh, Autobiography of a Yogi. And that was one of the most transformational books I've ever read. If this sounds like something you'd like to pursue, I would suggest starting there. You don't have to. But you don't have to read the book. You don't have to read my book to meditate. Sit in the cross-legged position if you like. At my advanced age, when the sweet bird of youth begins to flutter, <laughs> my, uh, my joints, my knees, they start barking. And I, uh, it takes me away from what I'm trying to do. You should not be fixated whatsoever on your body when you are meditating. Quite the opposite. You're trying to get away from it. So um, what I do is I just sit in this chair that you see in front of me. It's a basic office chair which holds uh, most people would consider quite awkward to sit in this chair. Maybe uncomfortable because we're so used to not sitting with an erect spine and whatnot. But this holds my posture in place and I just meditate for hours it was a little not quite two hours and it was beautiful it was absolutely beautiful the third eye was as bright and as clear oh gorgeous absolutely gorgeous guys meditate 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 have a great day love you all